Yeah, well, this is awesome, isn't it? Amazon Prime Premier League games. Have you heard about this? Wow, 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 wow. So, um, the Premier League fixtures just got announced, and I'm sure Amazon were kind of, you know, on the edge of their seats waiting to announce it too. Um, there are a lot of people. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that. I'm not that type anymore. I think because United are so shit. I think when your team are doing well, you probably care more about the fixtures than you would than you would do. Or maybe when you get promoted, you care a bit more too. But because United are playing so poorly as of late, I've stopped really caring about fixtures. I don't really care. I'm not. I'm never really been the person to kind of wake up and oh, the fixture list is coming out. Who are you gonna play? I think when you're winning stuff, it probably feels a bit better, right? You're kind of looking forward to games a lot more. You can't be specking out the games you're gonna go watch. What away games you're gonna go to? European games, blah blah blah. Where they're gonna fit in the calendar? But I think for United fans, we just wanna. We just, have, we just want to have a decent season. So I think our excitement for the Premier League fixture list is probably not up there with everyone else's. But anyway, um, let's say that the better. Everyone else is looking forward to it. And off the back of it, Amazon have announced a really special thing, something that I wasn't aware of, that they will now be streaming Premier League games live on Amazon Prime Video. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. It's amazing. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so far, so the headline says Premier League football live on Amazon Prime. <laughs> Um, awesome announcement and I, I use Amazon Prime myself I think um, what did they mention how many Amazon Prime members are there actually um, let me quickly see that if I can see that that was an amazing stat I remember seeing um, uh, number of Amazon Prime members um, CRP says that today Amazon Prime has 97 million US members, which is up from 90 million users uh, a year ago. It represents 61% of the total US customers. Amazon itself said in April that it has exceeded 100 million paid. Mamma mia, and it's what the average? What's the what's the average um price? Like eight pounds? Does it go up from that? Is it more? Is it more expensive Amazon Prime or is it all 7.99? Anyway, I've got it, and I think, yeah, 80, 60% of the US have it too. Wow, that is insane. I didn't know it was that much. That is nutty. 60%, 61% of customers, over half. Good job. Anyway, so um, going back to the Premier League. So Amazon Prime uh, Amazon Prime have got exclusive rights to stream some Premier League games during the Premier League season. Fixtures. 20 Premier League games will be live and exclusive on Amazon Prime Video. And if, I'm not sure about you guys if you watch it, but I know if you've got Amazon Prime, you, it usually comes with video too. Um, on it, I think even the, the most basic of membership. I use it quite often. I use quite. I watch quite a lot of TV series on there. I've watched um, uh, Dogs of Berlin on there, an amazing European, amazing Berlin-based uh, uh, mob kind of crime drama. There's loads of really cool European dramas on there like uh the departed and a few others i recommend you check them out if you like those kind of things I recommend you do but in general it's quite a good video service i like the video player itself it has that kind of handy feature where it shows you the cast members and who the actors are and what things they've done previously it has quite a cool fast forward option um good subtitles um you can watch it in hd whatever it may be so yeah i quite like the player um so they said they've got 20 fixtures will be live and exclusive on prime, um, prime video in december this December, for the first time ever in the UK, all early December midweek games and Boxing Day games will be shown. That is so cool, man. So, of course, these are the games that usually, by that time of the year, people are kind of winding it down. And maybe, no, I won't say by time one. You see, was, was the league wrapped up this year? It wasn't really, was it? No, it wasn't. This is, yeah, these are still crucial games. Everyone's going to be at home um, or going to home or going to their house at that time. Um, yeah, these are all crucial games. Or oh, everyone's going to be indoors and watching it in general. It's just crucial. It's just fucking awesome. So December fifth, third, third, fourth, and fifth, they've got Arsenal v Brighton and the rest, and then Boxing Day twenty six and twenty seven, which is going to be some big games there. Aston Villa Norwich, depending on how the league pans out for both teams, will be big. Bournemouth Arsenal will be big. Arsenal Chelsea Southampton, all these games are going to be big games. Man United Newcastle is a great game. Leicester Liverpool is a great game. Tottenham Brighton's a good game. Wolves Man City is a great game, considering um, what was happening last season. These are all great, amazing games, man. Uh, Prime members will be able to watch Premier League games as well as other great games at no extra cost. That is insanely good. And this is really good because this comes off the back of bloody UFC deciding the other day, quietly, they announced this quietly too, UFC. They announced they're going to now be requiring, I think from the next pay-per-view, for the next um, card, it's going to be um, pay-per-view. You're not going to be able. Um, you're not going to be able to watch UFC fight cards, including your BT um, membership, because at the moment I've got BT internet and I also have the BT whatever online thing, so I can watch football matches and stuff via the BT player, which is a really good service too. And it included um, UFC cards, but now they're going to require you to pay for the pay per view worldwide, international. Usually it was just based. It was mostly for the US customers or North American customers. Now it's been rolled out internationally, which is really going to hurt them because I think a lot of 
Because I think, you know what? I think the UK has probably a lot more casual UFC fans than the US does. People just watch it because it happens to be bundled in free with their subscription. In the US, you really have to go out of your way, unless it's a fight night, to really buy pay-per-view, especially with ESPN+. Plus. People are having trouble having that um, work well. So I think the BT people are going to be a little bit annoyed if it's not included in their pay-per-view. So they're probably going to end up cancelling it. I heard a lot of people kind of protesting about it. Of course, Dana White and Co. won't really give a shit. But um, this is a really good um, counter um, to that. It's all included in your cost of your membership, which I think is about seven ninety nine or eight ninety. I'm not sure. Something un- under ten pounds, which is insane to get that many games over that period of time, is really really cool. Um, sign up now, of course. They're probably gonna have a big drive to get people signed up. But yeah, really cool feature. Some now just the other day. Um, so yeah, all, the games over Christmas are gonna be live and exclusive on Amazon Prime. Recommend if you don't have Amazon Prime already, make sure you check it out. <laughs> 